What is up guys, my name is Daryl, and in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to send push notifications to visitors on your website for free. Now, have you guys ever been to a website kind of like those uh, trending websites where you get this little box right here where it says, hey, so-and-so wants to show notifications. Guys, this converts 10 times better than email marketing. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna guide you step-by-step -step on how to set this up for your WordPress website for free. So the first thing you guys will have to do is go to a website called OneSignal. And guys, this is a free service, and even if you don't have this right now and you think it's not good, just get it, trust me. I've had it for one day and I've already converted 45 people, or no, I'm sorry, 39 people in just one day. Uh, that is actually really cool. And every time you make a post, those people will get notified via their browser saying, hey, Daryl Wilson go made a post, go ahead and check it out, okay? Now, I'm gonna show you how to do the same exact thing. So this is a website called OneSignal, and you know, they all, they're all about push notifications and it's a free service and I've used a lot and these guys hands down won my vote. So when you get to this website, go ahead and go to log in. Now I already have an account. So I have an account with these guys cause they're, they're, they're legit, they're really good. So right here, you're gonna go to sign up. So go ahead and give them your email, your password, your social security number, your credit card. No, I'm just kidding. You just give them your email and your password and, and that's it, okay? And then you go ahead and create an account, okay? Now I'm gonna go ahead and log in and I'm gonna go you know, guide you guys step by step on how to do this. So look at that. One day, I've actually got 39 people. So whenever I make a post, 39 people are gonna be notified via browser. So that's pretty incredible. So when you get to this page, you're gonna see this thing called add a new app. And I'm gonna guide you through this. It's really simple, really easy. So right here, I'm gonna click on this plus. And go ahead and give your app a name. So you can, it can be anything. So I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna do Paddywhack, my dog. We're doing Paddywhack, Paddywhack. Okay, and you're gonna get this box right here, but just go ahead and close it. We don't need to uh, mess with this right now. So yeah, yeah, I don't need it, you know. Right here, we're gonna go to app settings. Now you see right here, it says Google Chrome and Firefox. We're gonna set this up for all the browsers, at least all the main ones. So Google Chrome, Firefox, and Safari. I personally use Google Chrome, I think. I mean, I'm a, I'm a like, a, I love Mac, but I just don't like the browser. I don't like Safari, but uh, we're still gonna use them for all of them. So right here, you're gonna go to configure. So go ahead and put your site URL right here. So mine is HTTPS Daryl.com. Now default notification icon URL. Now guys, you actually will get this from your actual media library. So this is my website right here. Now I need to go to my dashboard right here and go to media and go to library. So I'm gonna do, uh, you know, I'm gonna put my dog right here. All right, so we're gonna take my dog and it's, a, it's like the best picture ever. So I'm gonna take my uh, URL right here, go back over here and go ahead and paste this right there. Okay, so whenever you get a notification, that image is gonna show up guys. So make sure it's an image that's appropriate and that represents your website. So I'm gonna go to save. Okay, now the next thing we're gonna do is go to keys and ID. And guys, all we need to do now is just go ahead and copy and paste this onto our plugin that we're going to install and we're done. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and close this, go to plugins, and go to add new. Now we're gonna look for the one signal plugin. One signal, there we go. And this is the one right here. So one signal, free web push notifications. So I'm gonna go to install now. All right, and it's almost done. <laughs> Okay, it looks like something happens here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and refresh it. Okay, it's activated. It's, it's guys, you know why? It's because I already activated it earlier. You know, I had to test this out. So I'm just guiding you step by step on how to do this. So uh, once you do that right there, you're gonna see this thing right here that says one signal push. So click on that. Now right here, I've already kind of, you know, messed around with this, but all you guys need to do right here is go ahead and take your, your, um, your one signal app ID. Go ahead and copy that and then go ahead and paste it right here. And now the same thing for your REST API key. So go ahead and take that, copy that, and then go ahead and paste it right there as well, okay? Now once you're done, I want you to just scroll down. There are some things I want you to take a look at and consider. So right here, notification title, the notification title to use for all your outgoing notifications. So you want to make sure that this is something that represents your business. Now one very important option that you need to check right here is the automatic prompt new site visitor. So what this does is whenever someone visits your website, it's going to automatically pop up and notify them right away. So right here, I'm gonna click on that. 
All right, scrolling down. And they have different options, you know, to customize this. Like you can change the size to small to large or the position to left to right or whatever you want to do. And then, you know, you can change the color scheme as well. Here you can go ahead and change some of the text. So, you know, when uninscribed, you know, when subscribed, they get a, a notification. You can put whatever you want. So you are in full control of your website right here. So, um, you know, you guys get this. I'm not going to go through all these right here. So scrolling down right here, scrolling down. Again, guys, these are just more options, okay? So all these are, are just more options for just customizing and making it look however you want, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead, go ahead and click on save. Now we also need to set it for the, um, for the, um, the Safari. So we basically set it up for the actual uh, Mozilla and also for Google Chrome. So we need to now set it for the Apple platform. So right here under platforms, and go to Apple Safari and go to configure. And you guys can see right now that it's already active. So the Apple Safari actually works the same way. So right here, I'm gonna go to configure and go ahead and put your site name right there. So guys, this is just for your site name. So, you know, mine was WP Daryl and then go ahead and put your site URL. So ATPP, no, oh, no, <laughs> my test website, duh. So WPDaryl.com and I'm gonna go to save. Actually, no, I'm going to scroll down. Now, there is a small difference here. So for this, you'll have to up no, upload your own icon. So 256 by 256, you'll need to put your own icon. Um, you, It's a little bit different with Google Chrome. You know, you just basically give them the URL. But for here, you're going to have to put your own icon. Okay, so make sure to do that. And then go to save. Okay. And you get this key right here. So we get this long key right here. So we need to go ahead and copy this. And I'm going to go back to my website. So I'm gonna go ahead and refresh this. See, it's being a little weird, you know? It's probably because of my other plugin. So, you know, people are always like, you know, dude, you don't get errors on your tutorials. I'm like, yeah, I do, I really do. So all you need to do is go ahead and paste this right there. And then scroll down, keep scrolling, keep scrolling. And guys, make sure to read all of these. You know, like I said, a lot of these are just customizable options and stuff like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on save right here. Now guys, I'm gonna do a live post to show you guys that this is actually working and that this is actually a legitimate, uh, amazing plugin, okay? So I'm gonna go to the website right now. Let's go over here to plus new and go to post. Now there was one thing that I missed that I really wanna uh, cover before we do this right here. Uh, go back to your one signal push and there was one really important option that I realized that we missed. So right here, if you scroll down, you need to have this checked right here, which says send notifications additionally to iOS and Android platforms. Now iOS is Apple. So uh, on my iMac, I would have to have that checked for me to get it, okay? So you wanna make sure that is also checked. It's very, very important, okay? So after you've done that, go to save. Everyone makes mistakes. You know, I make mistakes, everyone, you know, that's how it goes, you know? So right here, go to plus and go to uh, uh, post. Make, let's make a post. So right here, I'm gonna do paddywhack. is amazing and then i'll go ahead and put a picture of my dog right here okay it doesn't look good but you know this is just for tutorial purposes you know so uh yeah i, I shouldn't you know maybe you know, let's fix it there we go that's better all right now if you guys notice right here on the top right side it says um when signal push notifications send notifications on post publish so make sure that's checked now when i click on publish we are ready to roll you're going to see that we're going to get a notification so i'm going to click on publish Okay, now let's go ahead and just, let's just go back to the website. Now you guys see on the top right, right here, how it says, you know, we already get notifications. So guys, it's instant. And if I click on that, it takes us right to the post. So we can see that the push notifications are working. And guys, this will work for the Google Chrome. It'll work for Mozilla. It'll work for Safari. So we've successfully set up push notifications in about 10 minutes. And guys, this converts 10 times better than email. So if you're not using this, you have to get it because I'm telling you right now, um, it, it definitely beats email marketing. So let me show you again one more time the um, my statistics in a day. So whenever I make a blog post, you know, it just goes to all those people in their browser and it's, it's really convenient. So right here, you guys can see 39. And then of course, the one that we just tested on wpdaryl.com is one right there. So uh, we successfully set it up on this demo website right here. So that's about it for my tutorial, guys. Uh, if you guys have any questions regarding it, Feel free to let me know. It's a very simple process to set up. It's literally like a copy and paste stuff. So uh, go ahead and check it out. Go ahead and give this video a like and a subscribe and all that stuff. This is a cool theme, huh?
I'm starting to like it. This is the Divi theme, by the way. I'm just using a child theme. It looks really cool. Anyways, all right. I'll see you guys all later.